Welcome to our first ever vlog. Today we are going to Iceland. Right now it is 4.35 a.m. We are driving down to Manchester Airport. We've got McDonald's in hand. Unfortunately, it's too early for breakfast, but I'm sure we're gonna enjoy it when we get to the lounge at Manchester Terminal 2. Whilst we're in Ireland, Yes, I did just say Ireland instead of Iceland. Guys, let me off. It's my first ever time doing this out of this room here. We've got a few day trips planned. We've got the Northern Lights tour on day one. Day two, we've got snowmobiling, which we also visit a few of the countries, national parks. And then day three, we have the Blue Lagoon. Now we've upgraded the Blue Lagoon to a private spa experience. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're gonna be eating out as well quite a bit, so we're gonna keep you all up to date with everything. Today we're recording on a Sony ZV-1, and we've also got the wireless mics, which can mic myself and Ellie up if she feels like it, but she might just be staying behind the camera for this one. And we've also got the Insta360 X3, which is gonna be great for when we're snowmobiling because we're gonna be able to spin the whole perspective round for you guys to see on the video. Now we've never done anything like this before, so it is a bit strange to me. I know I talk to a camera for a living, but being out in public and doing it is a totally new level. So I will see you guys when we get to Manchester Airport. <sighs> Cheers. That's a bad pour, that, isn't it? Can't beat an airport pint, not the half pint. Right, let's have a look what we've got then. I'm gonna go for a Moretti. I don't know where the bottle openers are. Ooh, proper glass. They're not twist caps. Where's... You'd think they'd have one on the side. There we go. I don't know if Ellie's zooming in on me here or not. All the gins. Feels weird talking and walking at the same time. A few moments later. As you can tell, I hate flying, not because of the height, but because of the personal space. It was a good job I had a few beers back in the airport as they helped me sleep in that uncomfortable position that you just saw there. Anyway, we landed just after the three hour mark from Manchester and headed straight to our private transfer. We were usually quite chatty, but this bloke didn't really say a word to us. Hence this little commentary that I've got going on here. Our hotel wouldn't let us check in early, which was a little bit of a letdown. So we headed down to the seafront to catch a glimpse of the mountains in the backdrop and also to try and grab some lunch. This pizza here is what we settled for, and it was so nice, but also very, very, very spicy, and I found out the hard way. Welcome to evening number one. It is around 7.30 local time here in Iceland, and we're on our way to our first trip. Quite a late one, but it's got to be done at night time. It's the Northern Lights Tour. There's no guarantee that we're actually gonna see it though. So uh, fingers crossed that we do. The ticket rolls over to the other nights if we don't see it tonight, but I would just like to kind of get it done and dusted because we can't really go out for a meal or have a drink because we need to have our wits about us whilst we're walking around and it doesn't start until half eight and we won't get back until at least one in the morning. Uh, we just had a great little bit of room service then. We didn't want to go out for a meal anywhere, so we chilled in the room, had a little nap. Um, the conversion rate definitely didn't add up right on my phone. Ellie and me had a, Ellie and me, Ellie and I <laughs> had a, a chicken and bacon sandwich and fish and chips and we got a drink each and it came to around 80 or 90 pound. Luckily for me, my card didn't authorize so Ellie tried hers and it went through straight away. So thanks for tea Ellie. But no, the next time your seals will most likely be on the coach waiting or waiting at the coach stop or at least be on the coach. I'm not so sure how busy it's gonna be. And with it being my first time doing anything like this, it feels a bit weird talking in public, especially in a loud English accent. And you know what it's like, everybody hates the English accent abroad. Well, we were panicking that we wouldn't find the bus stop or that we were gonna be stupidly late to it, but it turns out it's the other way around. Really straightforward to find and we are nearly an hour early. 
So we're gonna go walk around and have a look for some lunch for tomorrow. We've got a big 13 hour day snowmobiling and on the website it says, make sure you bring your own food, which we obviously haven't. Um, it's a bit hard, it's a weird one this. I don't know if what to include in the video, when to film, what to say. So if this does make it into the video, I've decided, me and Ellie have decided, yeah, you do want to hear me waffling on because I didn't know if you just do like action shots of the Northern Lights, snowmobiling, or if you wanted to see actual footage of just me walking around being a bit of a tourist. Um, but no, I'll just, I'll just do a little spin, we'll do a little walk with me. But no, it's a really clean city. Um, Ellie's pointing, what? What are you pointing at? You won't be able to see anything. We're trying to find a shop, but there's no spas, no Tesco Expresses anywhere to be seen. Yeah. These are crazy. I don't know how you press this. <laughs> I don't know if it's work. Oh, underneath. Underneath. It's too late now. And there's Ellie J walking. This is the thing, whenever I go abroad, we had it in America. It feels so strange knowing when to cross, when not to cross. Is it illegal? Because in the UK, it's quite straightforward. If it's safe to go, you go. Um, but Ellie's pointing me in the direction of the coastline. So uh, we'll have a little look. I don't think you're gonna be able to see much, but there's big, big mountains over the right side and right in front of us. Now, when I thought of Iceland, I always thought of snow and I don't actually know if it is snowy here, someone will let me know. I'm really, really uncultured when it comes to things like that. I dressed up in Poland in full thermals in July and it was boiling. Ellie's just looking at me like, right, you're absolutely waffling now. You are. Come on, come say hello. Hello. <laughs> so camera shy. I expected shy. a bit more from that. I thought it was going to be better to see you on camera. <laughs> what, this on the front? It's too dark. Um, right, we need to go find a spa or a Tesco. Um, you're not going to find a spider or a Tesco here? Yeah. No, but you know what I mean, something similar. Find a Netto or a Iceland. Right, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> so we got back to the bus stop and it was absolute chaos. There were about four buses all lined up. Nobody had any clue what bus they were on or where they were going. But after about an hour of messing around, we finally got on the coach and headed to location one in hopes of seeing the Northern Lights. Right, so we're here at location one. I'm having to use my phone light because I didn't bring the flash attachment for the camera. Um, we cannot see anything. If Ellie just turns the light off, you can literally see nothing except me. And we're back. Um, this is location one. It took us about an hour to get here. It was an absolute nightmare getting on the coach. Um, just full of people just showing the phones to the driver, screaming all different languages at him. Felt quite sorry for him. Um, but we got here in the end, location one. Doesn't seem the best to see anything. We can see a couple of stars, but it is quite cloudy. Um, I'm gonna go get a nice hot chocolate now and get ready for location two. And we're now at location two, and this is even worse than location one. We've now got no stars, no moon. It's absolutely freezing, and we're up in like five hours to go snowmobiling. We both just wanna get back to the hotel now. Get some, uh, get some food to take with us tomorrow. Just we're gonna have to live off crisps in the day because we're definitely not prepared for the trip tomorrow. Um, but yeah, no Northern Lights, so I'm a bit gutted. Would have made a nice little clickbait thumbnail, but that ain't gonna happen anymore. So I'll see you all back at the hotel. Hello, good morning, and it is day two. Today we're off snowmobiling, and uh, I think we've got a Jeep tour along with a few of the national parks. So that's gonna be a nice little walk around with us. Um, it's 7 a.m. Both of us are absolutely shattered. Uh, we've had to rush our bath and our showers and breakfast because we've been apparently getting picked up and uh, the pickup is nowhere to be seen. So we're just stood waiting outside. Ellie turning away there on key. Um, so yeah, when we get on the coach, I'll turn the camera back on, show you a couple of views from the window. And uh, it looks like to be a good day, hopefully better than last night because we didn't see one single star, never mind the Northern Lights. But no, I'll catch up with you all a little later on. You can see the steam in front of us. It's coming down from the geothermal area within the rooftop. And we can assume that the first mountain ridge here, the, the, the westernmost of these ridges, is the oldest and they gradually get 
younger, the closer we get to the laptop. And then the opposite on the other side. The further we get from the laptop, the older the volcanic formations. And the laptop takes land on the western and southwestern, southwest corner of Reykjanes Peninsula. Goes along the peninsula. Oh wow. So as you can see a little little change of outfit. We are walking down to a one of the waterfalls on the way to the snowmobiling. It is absolutely freezing. Very, very cold. I'm not too sure how the mic's gonna cover most of this wind, but uh, I'll show you now that the path that we are gonna walk down and the view that we are seeing right now. Honestly can't tell you how cold it actually is stood here. We're gonna get a better view. We're gonna walk up to the very edge and get a view right the way down there. It's an absolute nightmare having to keep cleaning the camera because of all the water mist that keeps rising up. Lots of people taking photos. <laughs> I think something that us Brits do is we actually stop and let people take photos. Whenever I get a photo, everybody else just walks right in front of them. Oh, wow. I'll spin it around so you can see what we're having to climb to get to the edge. What a view. <laughs> it is absolutely freezing, but it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Right, we're gonna head back up that mountain that you can see behind us. We're parked somewhere up there. And now we're off snowmobiling where it's only going to get even more colder. Pay attention to the safety lectures to be given here. And the glacier is constantly retreating. In early summer we draw into it over there, but it's retreating and simply need more wheels to support the weight. Now, as you're gonna see here, we do actually go over what seems like a very tiny puddle now I'm watching it back. But I can assure you this fell so deep driving through it. Right there, I don't know if you missed it. You may wanna rewind that. But we carried on the journey and we were all in this big queue and for some reason we all got told to stop. And you'll see the instructor here just fly past us and go to the back of the queue. Somebody managed to fall off their snowmobile into that ice cold stream. I don't know how they managed it, but then they had to go and sit on the bus for the rest of the trip.
Now, that snowmobiling was absolutely incredible and I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything like that ever again. Um, but anyway, we are now at a couple of the springs or the gauges, um, all the geothermal activity that's going on underneath. I didn't listen to the guy on the bus, so I'm not going to pretend to blag that I know what I'm on about. Um, you can see, obviously, over here, got a bit of, bit of steam action going on there. But apparently it's one of the only places in the world that you can see it actually erupt. So uh, I'm going to have to keep the camera running in hopes of capturing it. I might end up capturing it on my phone so I don't burn the, uh, the battery out. But no, how good was snowmobiling? It was good when you wasn't speeding. Yeah, I put my foot down a few times and got told off by Ellie. Well, it's got to be done. Lovely landscape around here. Right, let's see if we can get this uh, this explosion on camera. It is absolutely freezing. You've lost my gloves. I've lost Ellie's gloves somewhere. There is a huge crowd waiting for this to, uh, to erupt. No, what? We're waiting for. Waiting for this to, to burst in here. Yeah. Okay, we have to. Like the Trafford Centre. Do <laughs> you like the Trafford Centre fountains? Yeah. Wow. And I'm going to say, right, I was this close <laughs> to turning the camera around to carry on talking, then, you know. Right, quick run to the restaurant. <laughs> I could, honestly, I was li literally about to turn it around. Wow. Reminds me of something. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Trafford Centre. <laughs> how warm do you reckon that is? That's how you have your bath. Asbestos skin. Yeah, no, not doing it just for the camera. I would have said them without the camera on me anyway. Oh, I was going to touch it then. <laughs> Nearly let the uh, the thoughts of my head take over. I'm going to touch it. It's freezing. <laughs> it's just normal water. Suppose it's travelled all that way down the stream, hasn't it? Out of the hot bit. Oh, fuck, it's freezing, man. Well, we made it to the restaurant, which is just a typical tourist trap, like the uh, the driver told us. Bright orange Fanta. It's like, uh, like the one in America. It's orange. Ours is yellow at home. I've got a meat soup. But I don't know what meat it actually is. It smells nice. I'll try that out in a minute, but we just had to go burger and fries, take the tomatoes off. You can't have a tomato on a burger. Don't think it's anything traditional, but tonight's meal looks incredible. The restaurant we booked on the Old Harbour. And I'm quite certain it's gonna to top this burger and this soup. But that's going to round up day two. I'll be sure to put a few pictures or videos of the food from tonight's meal. It's been a good day, considering we thought we were really late this morning. And I'll see you all for day three, which is the Blue Lagoon. Oh. I can't believe I thought that was the end of the day. I was getting excited to go back to the hotel and have a bath. Having a little snooze on our off-road Mercedes Sprinter. And I always had a lovely sleep on, on the coach then. I did think that we were literally going to having that burger and chips and then going straight back to the hotel. Obviously not, we've uh, forgot about this lovely Icelandic national park that he's dropped us off at. So we're going to follow this path all the way around here. 
I think it bends around here and then we end up underneath the cliffs up there which would be a nice view for a picture I don't know if I'm going to make it back down alive though because I, I am actually shattered I've been waking up at 7am 6am which is normal for a lot of people but they're not my gamer hours <laughs> Ellie's there shaking her head in total disagreement yeah, we're, we're, we're doing a lot. There's literally this, we need a holiday after this holiday, really. Oh, yeah, our next holiday, or well, next time we see a vlog like this will be New York. Hopefully my dad behaves for the camera. I don't see the goldfish that big. Oh, right, we're going to go up these steps now steps of hell can't be worse than that waterfall before the driver dropped us off at the bottom of the waterfall and then parked in the car park about 200 meters vertical away look oh, that, you seen that rock when we get up I'll show you guys see it balance in the middle flip it around so you can see what's down here it's like the uh, the steps in Times Square look hopefully when we go next time we'll be able to do them <sighs> we're doing getting a picture here I'm going to hold the camera up so you can have no, a No, I just want to take a photo. Yeah, it's fine. No. That, uh, that rock just balancing in the middle. Oh. One of the things I try and do, I try and judge people by the looks of where they're from. And nine times out of ten, I'm always wrong. Always. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna wave to the camera. But yeah, time to get back to the van. It's nice weather. Time to go for a cocktail because I need a drink after today. No? That's day two, is it? Yeah, my bad. Day two. All finished. We'll see you I'm all. So tired. We'll throw some food pictures in now and then start day three at the Blue Lagoon. Nice hangover recovery. Mm -hmm. Well, that didn't go to plan. We took a wrong turn and we dragged a load of people off our coach and bus the wrong way after they asked us for directions. And we're now walking up. This, it doesn't look steep on camera, but I'm sure it looks steep behind us that way. We've got to walk all the way up here to get back to the coach. But apparently the view at the top of this is incredible. Ellie has fully left me here now. And yeah, I'm the last on the bus as well. I feel like I'm walking to the head teacher's office in school. I believe you. <laughs> I thought you'd shout at us. Can you take the bag, Ellie? Just for a sec. My cheeks are so red. <laughs> Right, so it's day three. Just had a bite to eat. Unfortunately, they've only got the chipolata sausages, you know, like the hot dog ones. It's not for me at all. Ellie, get me water. Please, thank you. Day three, Blue Lagoon. Just waiting to be picked up, had a bit of breakfast. And a lovely, uh, lovely little part of the hotel, little restaurant. So 
So it should be for the, the money that it costs for breakfast. £108 for two people for three days. But anyway, yes, yeah, so we're just waiting for the coach to come pick us up now. We've got the right entrance this time. Yesterday we were stressing about uh, getting picked up for the snowmobiling. But no, it's going to be a good day. And uh, I'll get you a few shots of travelling up to the Blue Lagoon like we did for the snowmobiling. Oh, the water here is incredible. It's so, so pure. Just It just tastes clean. Um, but yeah, I'll get a few shots of the, uh, the journey up there. And we'll see you when we're there. Right, we've ditched the usual camera because I don't have a clue where we are. And I'm not getting it out of the bag because we're going to be going back and forth. We're at the Blue Lagoon. The normal entrance is over there, but we're at the retreat spa. So we've been told to come over to these fancy black gates. And we seem to have arrived. So this is also a hotel, but we are just here for the day. Don't think I could afford the hotel. There's some nice views, but there's a very, very big factory over there on the left. Obviously a geothermal factory. But here we are, the retreat. Uh, most of the footage from here is gonna be shot either on my phone or on the 360 camera, because they are a bit strange about using cameras there, which is understandable. experience that was then so we can't I can't show you on camera because we can't film in this part of the spa but we've just had a full facial treatment full body treatment moisturizer don't know if you could tell on the camera but our my skin has never been so soft um, this part of the spa you get your own private changing room uh, we had a lovely like a cozy fireplace area that you could sit indoors um, all sealed off lovely and warm we had a steam room which is literally in the volcanic rocks uh, we've had a sauna we've had a cold plunge pool we've been walking around in the pool up to the open bar drinking in the blue lagoon we've had pictures taken by a professional photographer it has been unreal so this part is separate to the blue lagoon um, but i would definitely recommend if you can do this do this instead of the blue lagoon it's just so quiet the menu the food is incredible um, I can't even take my phone out to the restaurant because it overlooks the actual, the uh, the private part of the lake, the lake, the um, the lagoon. But just let me tell you, it is incredible and probably the best experience I've ever had in any spa treatment or um, outdoor like swimming area ever. And now we're going to go and show you guys what the actual blue lagoon is like. We're going to get the 360 camera out and just have a little walk around, and then we're going to come back, end the day around the steam room and fire pit here.
absolutely written me off. Um, I could have stayed in bed there and just woke up and gone to the airport to get home tomorrow. For your face. <laughs> Snarling me. Um, but now we've got one more restaurant booked this evening, so I'll throw all the food up, what we have um, after this. Honestly, I'm so tired. We've ditched the dressy clothes now. Yeah, I'm just going out in a thermal jacket. There's no dresses, I'm in five layers. But yeah, um, hopefully the food's nice there. Got good reviews on TripAdvisor, which is always a good sign. But other than that, enjoy the food. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. Uh, that pretty much sums up the whole vlog there. Now, it was my first ever time taking out equipment into the wild, leaving this room and doing anything like this. Sitting here now, talking to the camera, comes quite natural to me. But being out in the open, in the wild, with the public actually being around you, is a little different. And I'm not going to lie, I struggled quite a bit. Reviewing the footage, looking back, the reason I put it off so much, because we went to Iceland about three or three or four months ago now, I just, I didn't want, I didn't want to look at the footage. For some reason, hearing my own voice and seeing me in public is somewhat different to what I'm doing right here now, which it isn't, which is what I've learned. Now, one thing that has annoyed me when watching the footage, and I can only apologise for you guys if you have watched all the way through, is how shaky some of my footage is. Now, I had a regular selfie stick, and for some reason, I also had a £400, like, it's a fully gyroed um, selfie stick, which if I do this, the camera wouldn't move. I don't know why I didn't take that out with me. Maybe it's a bit of the nerves because it's quite chunky. It's quite in your face. So maybe that's why. But I can promise you now, if you enjoyed that video, you are going to enjoy the New York vlog even more because I'm, I'm prepared now. I've kind of broken the seal I've stepped out into the open, and it's it's no different to what I'm doing here now, except you're in public. You've kind of just got to learn to res respect the public around you, but also don't care what they think. You're do I'm doing this video for myself. I'm doing it for you guys. Hopefully, I can look back on it in years to come and be like, wow, I did that. But guys, thank you so much, and as always, any tips or what you would like me to improve on the next vlog, please let me know in the comments down below. It would mean the world. Please be as critical as possible because I really want to make this the best it can be. Now, I edited this in probably like an afternoon, but when I've got really good footage, now I've learned what shots I need, how I can talk over footage, I'm going to make the New York one 10 times better than this. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you all in the next one.